all of my Michigan Optometric Association members. Thank you for joining us for the past year of these HR updates, where we aim to make this the most informative five minutes of your month. As I said, this is December, the season of holidays and gatherings and giving thanks and uh, reflecting on a year and what a year it's been, right? So if there was ever a time when we needed a party, it's this year. And yet we all recognize that holiday gatherings are probably not going to be as they have been in prior years, especially your work gatherings. So I want to just talk about that a bit Um There are some things that perhaps were traditions in your place of work that can continue despite COVID. I mean, certainly Secret Santa can go on if that's something that you like to do in your office or if you adopt a family. Certainly, there are probably more families in need this year than in prior years. So if that hasn't been a tradition of yours, it might be something that you decide to do as an office or as a work group. And it's a great way to build some camaraderie and, um, you know, just satisfy that feeling of of generosity, which is a big part of this season. So those things can continue. But there are some other things that we're going to have to get creative about. I don't know about you, but I always plan to put on a few pounds in the month of December. There's all these amazing baked goods. And certainly you're not going to be able to have those platters of baked goods just sitting out in your break room like you have had in prior years. But it doesn't mean you can't still enjoy the sweeter things in life. You could have staff, instead of bringing in full platters, still bake those goodies, but package them individually so that staff can take them home and enjoy them there. Or if you want to take it a step further, I'm not a baker by nature, so I always appreciate knowing how you made this amazing thing that I've just now eaten three of. And so perhaps you could ask your staff to attach the recipe card to those individually packaged bites. You know, that's just kind of a nice thing, or maybe even a a memory about why they chose to bake this item or what it means to them. So I think it's just important to try to infuse that sense of family in the season where isolation has sort of become the rule. Um, You can get creative too with how you celebrate. So if generally you have an office Christmas party, uh, indoor gatherings probably aren't going to work for you this year, especially given the size limitations. But maybe you have an adventurous group and maybe they'd be willing to take that party outside over a bonfire and you set up a hot chocolate bar. And if your staff are really adventurous, maybe you go skiing, maybe you go sledding. I mean, ice skating's risky, but, you know, there are things that you can do that are maybe out of the ordinary, but still would give you that sense of togetherness that the season's all about. So um, just a couple creative ideas there, but certainly talk with your team, figure out what might be most meaningful for them. If they've been just killing themselves over the past several months to go above and beyond for customers and patients, maybe the best thing you could do for them is to write a really um, heartfelt note of appreciation, hand write that note, give it to them, and then give them the rest of the the day off or give them the next day off, sort of unexpected days off so that they don't um, have time to plan doctor's appointments and all these other things that we tend to do when we get some free time. Instead, they could really just take the time for themselves. Maybe they go get um, a massage. You know, those things are still open. Or uh, maybe you give them a hundred bucks and they go to the store and they just buy something uh, for themselves or they get a little early Christmas shopping done. So lots of things we can still do, but it's important to be thinking creatively. The last thing we want to do is just scrap the holiday gathering under the guise of, well, it's COVID, so we can't do it. There are absolutely ways to make your team feel appreciated and to um, bring that sense of holiday cheer to your office or your work setting, even in a pandemic. Um, And then one other thing I wanted to talk to you about this month, sort of looking ahead. So we have a vaccine. We have a couple different vaccines that are going to be hitting the market soon. And as we get into January, February, March, many of you might be thinking about whether or not not only you want to get the vaccine, but do you want to mandate that your teams or your staff get the vaccine? And as I had said last month with the flu shot, the same is true for a coronavirus vaccine. You can, as a private employer in Michigan, mandate that your team get vaccinated. 
Um, now, there are some caveats to that, certainly. And as I had said last month, one of them is sincerely held religious beliefs. So if an employee has a religious um, objection to being vaccinated, that might be something you need to consider. Or a health-related reason that vaccinations are not um, going to be ap appropriate for them. You would have to consider that, too. So um, I've got an article that's actually attached to this month's message. And so it gives you a little bit more information about how you would evaluate those kinds of requests, what considers, um, what's approved and what's a hard, undue hardship, et cetera. So take a look at that. And, and of course, if you have any questions, you can give me a call or you can email me directly, Jody Schaefer at workwithhrm.com. And with that, I will just leave you all. I want to just express my gratitude for all of you. This has been a hell of a year and um, and we've gotten through it together. And I, I so appreciate your willingness to just stick with it. I, I was happy to be a partner with many of you through that journey and, you know, tis the season of gratitude. So I'll just end with a big thank you. Thank you.